morning, just out in the garden, just a uh, uh, beautiful morning, been to the beach already, just uh, had a little lie in bed and had me breakfast, so just spin you around and show you the garden. One of my favourite roses, look. Mrs is over there doing some watering. She's back up to us doing some work now. We have to do that when we put the plant in, stop the Stanley from pulling the plants out. There he is, Mr. Mischief. Love these little flowers. What are these called? Cosmos. I like these. Veggies are doing okay. Got some collies. Brussels, cabbages, leeks, swede, and that's the courgette that come up that we didn't know I had. So I've had two or three of them off there already. Sweet corn hasn't done anything now, that's sort of like, I think that's just rotting away to be honest. Not very good at all. Some carrots in there. Not much in here, just a couple of tomato plants. Now we had the blight, it was quite badly. So it sort of finished off all my tomato plants. Got some chilies, those are the chilies I picked up from the roadside. I don't know if they'll do much, there's lots of chilies on them, look. Full of fruit. But we'll see what happens. Be all right, I don't know what that is. We come in here. Not much in here now because all the tomatoes have been poured up. I've got some lettuce there. I've got more cabbage and cauliflowers, which I'm going to have in here. So as soon as these are finished, I've got some kale down here. Cucumbers are still producing fruit. We've just got one tomato plant over there. And I think that might have a bit of blight, but all these got blight as well. So I'm going to clean the polytunnel out. Apparently, uh, I was talking to someone and they were saying about, I think I overcrowded it in here as well with tomatoes, plants, and they were touching the plastic. And if you touch the plastic as, and stuff like that, you can get, you get, it doesn't help with the humidity. It's been very humid this year, so it caused quite a lot of condensation in here, which I think is not very good, obviously, for the tomato plant. So the trouble is, I do like leaving the door open, but we have to block it off and I'll put, put something there to, so, no, this is okay. This one's okay. But yeah, all the rest got blight. There's a few tomatoes there going in. So I'll put some fresh fertilizer down. Stuff like that. So yeah. All going quite well. Oh dear. Well, not my bike's about and it's a beautiful morning, isn't it? So last day of summer today, I think. I think it's the last day of summer. I'm pretty sure it's the last day of summer. Our drains is nearly finished. They're nearly done now. This has come on really well, this has this year. Love this, this is beautiful. Bees love it as well, lots of bees on it. And it's a rose, Trace's sister bought us. Loon. And put that over there to stop him from going in, keep going in the pond. I put some snails in, I don't seem to have so much. Um, Blanket weed, they seem to be in the blanket weed, which is good. So, yeah, beautiful morning. Okay, a lot of things this summer seem to have suffered. Um, some things have done really well. We haven't had so many cabbage white butterflies around, 
which is good from a good from the perspective of cauliflowers and cabbages and any brassicas because uh, we don't get the caterpillars although i've put some stuff on there i'm using this stuff uh, i watched uh, charles dowding's video and it's a uh, i'm trying to pronounce it's a natural product he sort of mix it with the water it's got um i don't know what you call it there's a name for it uh, it's also safe for bees and birds basically it makes the sort it makes the plant a bit, to the caterpillars taste like dirt and they don't like it so you put it mix it in a watering can at a sachet and uh yeah back to something called it is i'm sure many gardeners know what it is but yeah i've got it it's quite expensive though I think it was 12 quid for five sachets. So I've got three sachets left. So you just put a watering can over there and they don't eat them. Seem to leave it alone. So that's good. I'm pleased with that. Seems to be working. I'll keep them covered for a little while. Like he said, till the plants get sort of reasonably strong. And then I am um, uncovered. So I'm trying to, to talk to you and uh, do the shed as well. Anyway, yeah. I, uh, it seem, I'll keep them covered for a little while and uh, and then I'll uncover them and these haven't been eaten at all so I'm really pleased at the moment the slugs are starting snails are keeping away so that's good yeah not bad strawberries are growing again they cut them back once and they're all grown we moved this apple tree it's got quite a lot of fruit on it but some of them are not very good, some are okay. We've got some fruit on there, look. Never had any fruit on this apple tree, never. Moved it, and I've got loads of fruit this year, so hopefully we'll get a few apples. Plum trees, I'm not sure it's full of fruit, but last two years we've suffered. I don't know if it's the temperature changes or what, but it's a, and that's just sort of like an experimental area. We put lots of herbs in here sage and different things mint in here and there's Mr Stanley look these are my compost bins in that area at the back I've got to clear out I've got some new pallets that I'm going to replace all these bins the rest will be chopped up for kindling I've got a load of pallets and a load of wood to cut up so I've got stacks to do so it's just lots of jobs at the moment I put me shed doors on there so I can get the bikes in and out. Really pleased with that. I bought the doors, didn't make the doors. I did have them made up for me, but I fitted them and everything and done. They just give me a bit more room. I can even get the pan in there as well. Anyway, have a great weekend. Speak to you all soon. Bye for now. Peace out.